In this session, I'm going to talk about item two here using complex queries by utilizing the design view in Microsoft Access databases. So let's go back here to Access. Uh, earlier, we did uh, simple queries using the query wizard through one table and multiple tables. So now let's say we have three tables here. We have the customers table, we have the contacts and the invoices table. Now, if we wanted to create a query here, we go under create and we're going to use a query design. The query design, notice it's kind of slightly different from the wizard that we learned earlier. We click on it and now at this point it's asking us what tables we want to utilize for this query. So let's say we wanted the, the table called customers and then the table called contracts and then we'll click close. We can choose invoices as well if we want it but at this point we don't need it. I'll click OK. Now notice it shows us the relation between those two tables and also it shows the fields. Now what happens is that uh, notice in the bottom here we have this area where we can actually add the different fields. Now if you double click on this star here on the top left that means it's going to add all the fields of that table is going to execute a query for all the fields. And by the way, this is more visual and this is more useful. And this is what you'll use most of the time if you're designing new queries in business or for personal use and so on. So in this case, we are going to click on or double click here on first name. So let's say we want the first name in our query. Notice I'm double clicking on it and then last name. And let's say I want the telephone number and then the email address. Let's say also I wanted the contract type. Notice I'm picking this from another table and that's because they are linked together from earlier. Let's say I want to see what the results will be. Now what I can do is you can click here on this icon, the run icon, or you could save it and then double click on the saved query here. But for now, we are just going to run it to see how it works and whether it works. So we'll click on run and notice it has posted the data that we requested in that query. Now, if we want to go back and modify it again and add another field, what we do is we go under the view here, we're in the home tab and then the drop down here under view and then we'll choose design view. Under design view, then we can pick something else like one of those other fields. Or if we don't want one of those fields, we could simply delete it from here by pressing delete, selecting the field and pressing delete. And then if we rerun it, notice that field is not, no longer going to be executed or included in the query. Now let's go back here and go to the design view. And we're going to add, for example, the amount and the date and then the contract type and notice at this point we have uh, two four six seven fields that we have selected if we go and run it to test it we go ahead and click on run and there is our data if we are happy with this query what we do is we click on close here on the top right and then it will ask us to give it a name so now again we'll give it a meaningful name so we'll call it customer info and then click OK. There might be times where you might want to modify this existing query. So what you do is, of course, you can run it and see what it does. But you can also go here to the Home tab. There are a couple ways to do this. So once you select the query, you can right click on it and choose Design View. Under Design View, this is where you can add more fields or delete more fields like we did before. So the concept that I'm trying to show you here is that how can you go back and modify a query? Again, it is by right clicking, choosing design, and then you can add more fields and delete other fields. So let's say right here, I wanted to add, for example, the state address, city, state, zip. I'm double clicking on them. Now notice we, it actually added them farther down in our area here. So what you can do is select what you want, select those fields, and then drag them farther to wherever you want them. So notice I just was able to move the order of them. So now if I rerun it, notice I have the first name, last name, their address, city, state, zip, and so on. 
then if we are happy with the design of the new query here, we close it and then we click on to save the changes for the design. Again, in Microsoft Access, we just save changes for the design. The data is automatically saved as soon as you complete entering one specific cell or the data into one of the cells. So in the next session, I'm going to show you how you can actually add criteria to the queries.